In other news, a gunman shot and captured after an attempted attack on the U.S. Embassy outside of Beirut, Lebanon. Authorities say the suspect, a Syrian national, opened fire outside the embassy. No staff members were injured. Amitas Tia reports that tensions are high in Lebanon since Israel's war in Gaza. Well, at exactly 8.34 a.m. local time, a gunman opened fire outside the embassy compound. This cell phone video captures what appears to be the shooter and the Lebanese army exchanging fire. The attacker, a Syrian national, was shot and is now hospitalized. And in a statement, the embassy said the building and those inside were safe. Now, I've been to the U.S. Embassy, which is just north of Beirut, and it is in an extremely secure area. To get anywhere near its entrance, you must cross several checkpoints and security barriers. Now, it was moved outside of the capital following a massive suicide bomb attack back in 1983, which killed more than 60 people. And since Israel's war in Gaza started in October, tensions have been extremely high in Lebanon as the Iran-linked Hezbollah movement and the Israeli military exchange fire almost every day along the southern border. In Theos Time, CBS News, East Jerusalem.